Don't you just love it when you get something straight off a deal extreme and it comes with no instructions and it doesn't work the way it's supposed to? Well, I sure as hell don't. Product I'm talking about? A remote control for a GoPro. Yeah, fun stuff. Let's roll the intro and we'll check it out. Alrighty guys, so here we have the Wi-Fi remote for, and it says right on it, GoPro Hero 3 and 3 Plus, but on the website it says 4 as well. So, should theoretically work. And the problem isn't with the GoPro, the problem is with the remote. Now, when I got it, the box was pretty torn up. It still is. There is no flapper. I thought maybe this was a flapper. Super isn't. So, sorry about that little Facebook bling. I got Facebook open, should have shut it down, but it's across the room, so fuck it. Anyway, let's take a look at the box real quick. So, on the back here, we got the remote and it shows a camera that's super not a GoPro, covered up with a barcode. On the side, it reminds you it's a Wi-Fi remote. On the bottom, it's got a quality pass, which means they tested it, obviously they didn't. Wi-Fi remote on the side again, and there was probably something on the top that's missing. Pull it out of the box. Inside you get a charging cable, which is very unique, so you kinda don't wanna lose that, otherwise you won't be able to charge your remote. You get a arm strap, so you can Strap it to your arm and keep it on you so if you're out like surfing or motorbiking or something you can strap it to yourself and that way there you can quickly freaking access it to do any changes to your GoPro. And then you get the remote. That's right. It's inside of a silicone case. To take it out of the case you just apply a little bit of pressure and fold it and it's rubber so you won't rip it and then just pull it out like a chicken nugget. Like so. So there you go. There's the case and there's the remote. Anyway, uh, to power it on, you press the power button and then it'll turn on, tell you the version, and it tells you the battery, and then it sits like this because right now it's looking for a device. Now I have no idea how to sync this. I looked online and it literally says you need to press the settings button, which this one doesn't really have. I looked on this side, couldn't find a reset button, looked on the top, nothing. Looked on the bottom, didn't really see anything that looked like a reset button. And on the back, that's when I noticed it says, oh, press the option button plus the power button equals sync mode. Well, shit, that's perfect. So I come over here and I press them both same time. Nothing happens. Oh, something happened there. Yeah, it turned off. So then I'm like, okay, well, we'll try it again. Press them both same time. Still nothing. We'll press them longer. Still nothing. We'll press the top one. Now press the bottom one. Nothing. Let's turn it back on. Okay, so now it's turning back on. What a piece of shit. So it says press the circle and then press the power. Nothing. Press the circle, press and hold the power. Turns off. Basically, I can't get this thing to sync up with my freaking GoPro. Now, it came with no instructions except for what's written on the back. I tried contacting Deal Extreme, but they already got my money so they can give two shits about giving me customer service because that's how they roll. And uh, I left a bad review for this product on the website because it's a pile of shit and it's 50 fucking dollars. So it's half the pri price of the authentic GoPro remote. You think you're getting a deal, like, oh, half off, this is awesome, I'm gonna have a remote to use with my GoPro. Won't have to reach around and press the power button when I have it all fully extended and stuff. And yeah, don't even bother buying this pile of shit because it's exactly that, a pile of shit. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out and avoid it. But uh, yeah, definitely do not buy this. It is not a good device. It doesn't work as advertised. Maybe one day I'll figure it out, but as it stands right now, this thing is garbage and does not function as advertised. That and it's already synced to another GoPro. That's why when you turn it, because normally when you buy these brand new and they're not used, when you turn it on, it doesn't show the, um, turn on you pile of shit. It shows the battery. And then it doesn't show this Wi-Fi crap, it shows the syncing. Then you set your GoPro to sync mode and it syncs in. So, that's not the case right now. This thing here is no good. Paperweight going in the garbage. 
So this is a case of one of those, sometimes buying cheap is not a good idea. Better to buy the authentic and stay away from the clones because when you buy a clone like this, you end up with a piece of garbage. That's good for the garbage can. Enough said. So thanks for watching my video. Like, favorite, comment. If you have any input on this, by all means, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. That'd be great. And until next time, guys, peace the frig out.